and welcome to Quest of Sports Monthly that was hijacked to create Quest's educational show. I'm your host, Susan. This show, we will be revealing the truth about Sasquatch, the universe, politics, NFL players, and law. Starting with Sasquatch. Is it a real-life monstrosity lurking beyond civilization, or an awesome real-life monstrosity lurking beyond civilization? Our crack team of secret special field generals agents brought their shakiest cameras and coming to bear in an effort to capture footage of Sasquatch as it roamed through our very own campus. We go to them now, live. Wow, that was certainly interesting. In other news, our network is now accepting applicants for our new secret special field journalist agent position. Minimal experience with zoom lenses and governmental sabotage required. Call the number below for details. <coughs> Uh, for our next segment, we were going to make a biting comedic commentary on the presidential campaigns of the election cycle, but we sort of didn't. But instead, we have this. We'll be checking back in with those two fools periodically. And now, for a stereotypical rocker guy talking at you. Alright, well this next segment is not rock. This is sports! with our sports expert, Alex. Today with sports news, we bring you the top three NFL losers. To start us off at number three, Chad Headbutt Johnson, wide receiver. Johnson's early career looked very promising, moving towards a Hall of Fame player of his time. With a six-time pro NFL Pro Bowler, and was named to three All-Pro. This all ended the summer of 2012 when Johnson decided to headbutt his newlywed. Who knew headbutting your wife was frowned upon in the NFL? Johnson lost his starting role with the Miami Dolphins. With no other teams interested in picking Johnson up, Johnson is now unemployed and divorced. But hey, there's still hope for Johnson. He can always write a book, How to Lose a Pro Contract and a Wife in 30 Days. Now moving on to our number two spot, one of my all-time favorite players, Terrell Owens, wide receiver, known as T.O. It's hard for me to put him on this list, but here are the facts. T.O. is a wasted talent. A six-time NFL Pro Bowler, Owens holds and shares several NFL records. Featured in the all-time top five in several receiving categories, including yards and touchdowns. But with his cocky and I love me some me attitude, didn't outweigh his talent with many NFL teams. T.O. ruins his talent. He is his own worst enemy. T.O. is the redheaded stepchild no one wants to play with. In his career, he has been bounced around the league to five different teams that were playoff contenders. T.O. was picked up by the Seattle Seahawks in 2012, but was later released before the end of preseason. T.O. is now a co-owner of the Allen Wranglers in the Indoor Football League. Let's not forget his reality TV show on VH1. Wait, I forgot. That was canceled along with his career. Now for our number one loser, Demarcus Russell. Demarcus Russell, quarterback was the first overall pick in the 2007 NFL Draft. Drafted by the Oakland Raiders, Russell made an early exit in 2009. Russell, with only three seasons with the Oakland Raiders, completed 18 touchdowns, 23 interceptions, and 25 fumbles. That's a roughly 1.8 million a touchdown. Later in the 2010, Russell 
was arrested for the purple drink. For those who haven't heard of the purple drink, it's a combination of codeine, cough syrup, and Sprite. Where's Russell now? Most likely sipping on the purple drink, playing Madden 2008. Last thoughts of the day, what would Russell do if he won the Super Bowl? That's right, he would turn off his Xbox 360. I'm Alex Hood, thank you for tuning in to sports. Back to you, Susan. Thank you, Alex. Well, that was inspiringly depressing. Speaking of which, back to the race. It's certainly a thrilling, yeah, whatever. Here's our vaguely science segment with our pseudo-credible science host, Susie. <coughs> Thank you, Susan. Welcome to our science segment. Today, we're talking about galactic cannibalism. Take the Rose Fake ARP273. Wow, who knew sparkle star clusters could be so romantic? Creatively nicknamed the Rose Galaxies by our crack scientific naming committee, these two specimens reside 300 million light years away and are way creepier than they seem at first glance. So you see, this is a phenomenon known as galactic cannibalism. And while it makes for some pretty cool space photography, it has more ominous implications for our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Seriously, great job, scientific naming committee. When one galaxy starts nomming on another galaxy, all gravitational hell breaks loose. And as it just so happens, our closest galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, has a penchant for cannibalistic snacking and is headed straight towards us as we speak. Luckily, it's 2.5 million light years away and it won't destroy our entire galaxy for another 3 billion years. So we've still got plenty of time to kick back and enjoy our utter cosmic insignificance. Speaking of which, back to you, Susan. <coughs> yeah. Thank you, Susie. We now move on to our legal segment where we bring to light laws need to know thrive in America. Yeah, I know, it's called speed reading. I'm skipping words. A anyway. Hello, hello. Um, in Wyoming, it's illegal to use a firearm while fishing. Um, so don't take any guns down there and be willing he might shoot you down. Okay, in Singapore, it's illegal to litter. And the people that are, the people that litter in Singapore they um they have to wear a bib if you litter three times they have to wear a bib and it says i am a litterer and apparently it works for the people in singapore because singapore is the cleanest country in asia and in california it is banned for animals animals are banned from lit animals are banned from mating within 1500 feet of a tavern school church and in Florida, yeah, and that's it. I really don't know. Bye. And finally, it looks like our two illustrious cephalopods are nearing the end of their journey. Well, glad that's over with. In other news, I've been your host, Susan. Sayonara, fools. Or whatever it is they say in Turkey. Run the credits. Royalty free music is hard to find. Dabba 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 dabba